Hi, this is Tither. Today I am going to explain you about the instring functionality in regular expression. The normal instring functionality is you will be searching for the substring in my parent string. If the substring is present in the parent string, then it will return the index position of the substring which is present in the parent string. If the substring is not present in my parent string, then it will return 0, indicating that it is not available in the parent string. Here in this case, in my employee email, I am having the list of email IDs. So I will be checking for the index position at the rate of assuming that the at the rate of symbol should be present for a valid email ID. If the email ID is valid, then the at the rate of symbol should be present and my invalid character is space. If any space is present in my email ID, then it indicates that it is invalid. Here in this case, 6th, 7th and 8th is column values are having spaces so the, those are invalid email ids so i am searching for the at the rate of symbol in my email so i am searching for the regular i am giving the regular expression in string of the column email i am searching for the at the rate of symbol in my parent string email if it finds the at the rate of symbol then it will display the index position of the at the rate of symbol in my parent string email let me execute this separately. My index position of the at the rate of symbol in my for the first value, column value is 4th, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4 and 5, 4 and 6. So at the rate of symbol is present in my in the given index position. These are my index positions. And I am going to search for the spaces. If there is any space, then it will return the index position of that space in my parent string. Let me execute this separately. There are no spaces, so it's returning zero. It means these are valid email ID and spaces are present in fourth position and eighth position and fifth position. So these three are invalid email ID. So I'm combining these two conditions to find out valid email ID and invalid email ID. For a valid email ID, I am putting the at the rate of symbol should be present. The, if the at the rate of symbol is, is present in the given email ID, then the index position definitely it should be greater than zero. And I am also searching for using the AND operator, I am also searching for the spaces. If there are spaces in my parent string that is email, then definitely it is not an valid email address. So I am checking the condition as equals zero, assuming that there is no space there is no space in the given email id so if there is no spaces in the given email id then the index position will always be zero so this sql will return the valid email id and negating this two condition and including the or symbol will give invalid email id here i am searching for the at the rate of symbol and equal zero means it is not finding the at the rate of symbol. If it is not finding the at the rate of symbol, then it is not a valid email ID. And the next my condition is searching for the spaces. And if the index is greater than zero, means it is find it finds the space. It finds spaces in the given email ID. If it finds spaces, then definitely the index position is greater than zero. So in that case, it is not a valid email ID. In it will it should satisfy any one of the given condition if you execute this it will display the invalid email id the three are invalid email id and there are spaces here and that's all about uh, regular expression in string and i have changed uh, somewhat here for the email id itself I am searching for the in string. Here I am giving it as slash w means any word. Slash w plus means any word. I have explained the substring part alone here. Sorry. I have written the substring part alone here. Slash w plus means the username and at the rate of is a symbol. And again slash w plus means the domain name and dot means the separator between domain name and dot com if you are putting dot symbol then you have to escape the dot symbol by putting backslash here 
and again slash w plus means I am substituting for com. For com I am putting it as slash w plus. For domain name again I am putting it as slash w plus. So I am using this. Using this also we can find it out. Here I am finding the position of the position of the word here the position of word given word is 1 always it will be 1 because the word starts from the first position so I'm, it's giving it as 1 and the next two for finding the valid email id and invalid email id the first one is for valid email id here my condition the substring part is slash w plus any word at the rate of slash w plus again any domain name dot slash w plus that is for com is greater than zero if it is greater than zero definitely it's a em valid email id that's why i'm getting valid email id and the same pattern if you are using and if it returns if it is equal zero then it it's an invalid email id here also i'm using the same thing slash w plus at the rate of slash w plus dot slash w plus here if it is dis if it is equal zero if the condition equals zero then it means it's invalid email id why because we are getting space we are having space here and that's the reason S and that's the reason the condition fails here the condition fails if th that's all about uh, regular ex expression in string thanks for watching bye